time is running out for tens of thousands of Iowans receiving federal pandemic employment benefits, unemployment benefits. Governor Reynolds announced today, Stacey, that the state is leaving the program. KCCI's Andrew Mullenbach is live in Des Moines, where many business owners say it's necessary to fill open jobs. More than 30,000 Iowans currently get unemployment benefits through the main federal programs, but Governor Kim Reynolds says those benefits are now holding back Iowa's economy. The messages on the marquees and storefronts are more urgent than simply now hiring. Some signs plead that businesses cannot open further without more help. Reynolds says the federal benefits will expire June 12th, and she expects that to drive more people back to work. She released a statement that says these payments are discouraging people from returning to work and vaccines are available to anyone who wants one, and we have more jobs available than unemployed people. Matt Sinovic at Progress Iowa calls that heartless and against the spirit of Iowans. We've seen it from the pandemic to the derecho to floods. I mean, we, we roll up our sleeves and we help each other out. Uh, that's what we do, and that is not what this governor is doing. So. I would hope that she would have a change of heart. The benefits cut will end the additional $300 per week in unemployment benefits. Connor Deering from Cement Tech in Indianola says the payments are holding capable workers back. His company is trying to fill about three dozen positions. It has led us to spend probably four to five times on recruiting efforts what we were spending pre-pandemic. Uh, and, and it is it, it is without question the number one challenge that we have in our business today. Sinovic takes exception to the notion of workers sitting on the sidelines to collect unemployment. If you're paying people less than than what they might be making on uh, or might be taking in from unemployment, then it might be time to increase your wages. Reynolds' decision follows Republican leaders in other states who have decided to cut the benefits. We're live tonight in Des Moines. Andrew Mullenbeck, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.